Alright, how's it going everyone? So it was brought to my attention that I never did a build video for the bedrock drill. So that's what we're doing today. So for anybody that's used to my normal series, you'll realize we are back in time. Back on the old GT6 server. And... I went here rather than the new GT6 server because, well, I built this bedrock drill. I know where it is, and I know if I can mess something up or not. I don't know where XAR has built his on the server, and I haven't got to it in single player yet. So, I wanted to show you first that this is approximately what you will get out of a bedrock drill uh depending on which dimension you build it in obviously um but it will give every random stone cobblestone in the game along with the random ore from that stone so you'll have to have some way of sorting that all out along with you have the all-important bedrock uh, dust. Which the bedrock dust is for getting uh, adamantium and that good stuff. Uh, let me show you here. So, here's your bedrock dust. I don't know why in the world I'm in cheat mode here. I'll have to deal with that in a minute. But your bedrock dust will give you 70% chance of deep slate, 30% chance of adamantite, which is where you get your adamantium, 30% uh, alartrus, 30% rare earth, two chances for that. Same for the Neobium, but three chances for it. And then for Vanadium Pentoxide, three chances for that. And so give me a minute and we'll get down to the mind. And I'll show you the build of this. Be right back. All right, so here we are down at Bedrock. For the drill after a little bit of quick renovation to get rid of the bedrock fog so you guys could actually see what we're doing so quick overview your items come out top center I use the long distance item pipeline to send everything back uh, power goes in on any of these points right here Mine is coming in right here through this electric motor. I know uh, XAR uses uh, fuel in a diesel engine, I think, to run his. <clears throat> or multiple of them, actually. That way he doesn't have to transfer EU all the way over. Again, I'm using the long-distance... Uh, cables for that and then again long distance fluid to get in the lubricant which is going in here and this turns off the drill if we are low on lubricant so it won't just sit there and eat power so anyways the structure is as you see here which I'll go ahead and break now to show you the build of it. And how many blocks it actually takes to make it. All of these main blocks are the same thing except for the controller which goes top dead center. It's where the items come out of. <clears throat> I really hate this wrench noise. And then you have your drills, which are the bottom. <clears throat> and a very important part of this 
is that it does require the ore to actually form. If I was to build this over here, it would not form because it has to have that. You can build it, but it won't form because the bedrock ore has to be there. Unless Greg's changed something since last time I built this, but anyways. <clears throat> if you look at the controller here, it says three by C three base of bedrock mining drill heads centered on top of bedrock ores. Then full three by four by three of dense titanium walls on top, main top center. Inside the titanium tower facing upwards requires lubricant power and a 3x3 three three place on bedrock ore to mine. And this is something that <clears throat> doesn't say in the tooltip, but the more of these that you can get under the bedrock drill, at least this is what I'm remembering from when we originally tested it, the better. So, uh, this is actually a poor one because there's not very many in a 3x3 three three grid. But it's uh, what I got, so it's what I used. And this is for nitrate. And in case you didn't know, you can right-click on the bedrock spot and it shows you all of your recipes for the bedrock drill. You'd have to look up the specific bedrock ore that you're doing, but it does show you each one. So, we just build the three by three of drill heads, and then we surround that, or cover that, with titanium, dense titanium walls, All the way up here until we get to the very top layer we put the controller here that'll make your spots form and you have to make sure it's up which you can tell it is because the graphic there but you can also use your wrench to make sure put in your last two and then when you click on this, well, apparently this one doesn't tell you like the other ones. Normally it'll say that it is actually uh, built properly, but this one, because it's a tank as well, it tells you how much lubricant is in it, so... <clears throat> that is it. That's how you build it. And that's how you run it. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's any other multi-block builds in GT6 I haven't done, feel free to let me know. And I will get them done. We have everything in this world and everything in on the server that uh, I can go and do a build video for. Have a good one. Take it easy. Thanks as always. And I'll catch you next time.